Hello, I'm Courtney, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite book of 2014. I read a crap load of books in 2014. I don't know how many I read, but all I know is I read a lot, and there were so many, so it was kind of hard to choose my favorites. But I finally come down to the conclusion of my favorite, so let's get started. So the first book I want to talk about is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This is the first book I read in 2014 and I just had to talk about it just a little bit because it was really good. It's my second favorite out of the series. Yes, Song Dreams is my least favorite. I don't know why it just is. But I really liked it. It's a really good first book of 2014 and I am so excited for Mockingjay Part 2 that comes out next year. So thanks Mockingjay for being the first book I read this year. <laughs> Next is I want to talk about Divergent by Veronica Ross. This is the book I read after I finished Mockingjay. And I love Divergent. It's my favorite out of the series. It's my favorite movie, favorite cover. It's my favorite everything. And I really, really did like it. And now I have a glorious card cover of it because I read it in paperback first. But I loved it. And it's a good series. But it just went downhill afterward with Inserted and Legion. But I love Divergent and I'm so very glad I read this series. Because it's so highly good. So, and I'm so ecstatic for inserting you guys. Oh my gosh. So, just, I'm so excited. Next, I want to talk about the most like famous contemporary in the world, in my opinion. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I read this week the movie came out. Finished it two hours before I saw the movie. And it was amazing. Like, one of the best accomplishments ever. And I really did like it. I don't love it as much as other people do. Like, I mean, it's not that great, but I mean, I still really liked it. This is probably my favorite John Green book, because, I mean, it is that good, so I will say that. But I really liked it. The movie's really good, and I'm so excited for Paper Town that come out next year. They actually just finished filming it, like, yesterday, I believe. So I'm excited for it, and I just love John Green and the Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> The next book I have to show is The One by Kari Cass. Ha! <sighs> I love The One. I read it sometime in May, like the end, because I had to wait for it, because I ordered it online in its signed. So that's another reason to love it. And this is a really good series, and I'm actually very excited for The Air. The Air is probably my most anticipated book I'm very excited for to read in 2015, which is weird. But I, I'm so ecstatic, and this was, this is probably my favorite book out of the series, and so it's really good, and I'm so excited to see more about American Maxon and their children, and I'm ecstatic, so yay for the one. And plus, don't you just love this cover? Their covers are beautiful. The next book I want to talk about is Emerald Green, really just a whole Precious Stone trilogy, because I think Ruby Red is my favorite, but I don't own it. But I love this trilogy so much if you love Time Travel, London, and British Boys. This is it. I love it so much. Emerald Green took me the longest. It like took me a uh, million years. But I finally did read it and it was really, really good. And I just love it so much. I think it's Ruby Red, Emerald Green, and Sapphire Blue. I love Sapphire Blue, but at the same time I hate Sapphire Blue. But this is such a fantastic trilogy and I'm really, really glad I read it because it's so, so good and it's just... And I really want this to become more popular and just show our books I loved even more. And these are more of my like top favorites. Even though the books I just showed you are books I do love. These are ones I loved even more. And these are like my top books of 2014. And all these books I've showed are in no particular order just so you know. But now let's get to the ones I truly deeply loved. <laughs> if you can see it on my head. It is United We Spy by Ali Carter. I read this after Divergent, and it's such a good ending book. Definitely one of the greatest, like, finale books for a series, because it was really, really good. And I love it. I love Cammie Morgan. I want to be your best friend. Any tag I do, and there's a best friend question, I always choose Cammie Morgan for it, because she is amazing, and I love the series. I love that good. I love um, characters and everything, except for the bad guys, and I just love them so very much and they're so awesome and I just love them and they're just oh and I'm really upset the series is over but I am so excited to read All Fall Down. I have my advanced reading copy of it already and I'm gonna start reading it sometime soon so yay! The next book I want to talk about is 
and we're fire and really the whole thing on class series love this series this series is gonna be so fantastic throne of glass is okay and then crown of midnight it was better but it was still okay but then you read air of fire and it was amazing and i loved it i loved it and so good it's just, oh i'm so excited for the fourth book and i'm so excited for a court of thorns and roses i am supposed to be getting an advisory copy of it the company has not replied back to my email so I'm waiting for you, but I am so excited to read Force One. So, 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 so excited. And I just love the series, and it's so good. I love Selena because she's so kick butt, and I am so excited for how this series is going to turn out to be. The next book I want to talk about is this is probably my favorite contemporary I read this year, and it is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Oh, I loved Rainbow Rowell. It's such a good book. I read it end of August, beginning of September, and it was really, 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 really good. So fantastic. It's such a great story. I kind of relate to it a lot. I kind of put myself, if Cass was like in my grade, eighth grade, but it was still really, really good. I really did enjoy it, and it's just such a fantastic book and everything, and just, oh, but, um, I love Fangirl, and I'm so excited for Carry On to be published next year. Carry On, the fan fiction she wrote, is going to be published into a real book and I will be reading it and I'm so ecstatic. I'm so ecstatic. I just love Rainbow Row and I just love Fangirl so 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 much. Next I want to talk about the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. I have been marathoning the series in the month of December because I wanted to read them all in the month of December. I am currently reading Champion right now. I'm on page 304 so I'll probably finish today for Christmas Book 2 of a but um, I love this series so much. I got the box set in September, and I love this series so much. I love Day. I love June too, but I love Day more because he's awesome. And I love these covers. Champion's my favorite cover. Prodigy is my favorite book so far, but Champion's still really good too. So I don't know if it's gonna change. But it's such a good series. This is like the only series I like marathon through because I own them all. So I was just like, oh, get a marathon all of these. So. Next, I want to talk about The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. The first book, Cinder. The second one is Scarlet. And I don't own Crescent. I have not yet read it, so please, no spoilers. But I really need to read Crescent. That's really the only book I want to read before 2014 ends. That and all fall down, because I want to know it before everyone else does. But I love The Lunar Chronicles. I thought I wasn't going to like Cinder, but I actually really did. And then read Scarlet, and I still haven't read Crescent, like I said. And I really, really, really want to, because I want to know answers. But, such a good series. If you like the TV show Once Upon a Time, I would recommend these because they're kind of like that, just more twistier than Once Upon a Time. So, yay for the Lunar Chronicles and please, someone give me Cress, please. And last but not least, the book I want to talk about now is The Blood of Olympus by Rick Jordan, the final book in the Heroes of the series, aka really just the final Percy Jackson book. I love this book so much it was so good even though it's my second to least favorite it's um the mark of xena house of hades oh wait it's my third favorite it's then blood of Olympus, then sun of the lost hero whoops but um i really did enjoy this book it's not the greatest ending book but i still really liked it just because percy said i love you in it so but i love this book so much percy jackson forever shall be in my heart. I forever love the series. I'm so excited for Sword, Sword of Summer to come out next year. I just, I just love this series so, so much. And, oh, there's Blood of One this oh. It's the first book I've ever cried over, so I have a special, like, bond to it. So, I just... Those are my 2014 favorite. I want to see if I can grab these all. Let's do this challenge oh I, i'm gonna die oh my crud <laughs> oh oh my gosh Is these fall oh, i'm going to murder someone <laughs> sarcasm guys sarcasm this better work i wanted to i'll be so proud of myself if it does oh crud oh crud Hey, there's only one paperback in this. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I have a better idea. I'm gonna punch them on my bed. 
and then I'm gonna grab them from my bed. Smart. I'm so scared right now. Oh my gosh, I'm never scared in my lifetime. They set up earlier actually, and I took a picture of it. It was really, really crazy. I posted it on my Instagram. You all should guys follow. Okay. I got it. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I grabbed them all. Look. Oh my gosh. I'm scared I'm gonna drop them. Oh. <laughs> Look at them. They're all my favorites. <laughs> I'm gonna drop these now. <laughs> That's the most scary thing I've ever done in my lifetime. But yes, like you just saw me trying to attempt to carry all I don't even know how many books were in that pile, but yes, those are all my favorite books you just saw. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you wanna watch more, click the subscribe button down below. Please comment down below your favorite books of 2014. Were some of your favorites in mine? Did you have different ones from mine? Please comment down below because I would love to interact and know what your favorite books of 2014 were. Before I end this video, I just want to say I am thankful for 2014. This has been my favorite year of my lifetime. And I'm very thankful because I've accomplished so many things I never thought I can, could accomplish in my life. And I've just done so much and I've never been more proud of myself. Because I always feel like, I'm, I know, I never make myself proud. And I feel like this year I have proved myself something. And I just, I'm very proud of myself. And all these books have changed my life this year and I am very thankful for them all. I'm very thankful for you guys. You guys are the best thing ever and I'm thankful for YouTube and because it has showed me light and it has showed me what I need to do in my life and I am very, very thankful for this and I'm just so amazed by all the reading I have done this year. I'm Courtney and I'll see y'all next time to do a 2015 favorite so bye you guys